me now. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Lisa Bug Cardio. I can't believe this is the last class of 2022. We have a new year coming ahead. And um, in my email I sent out to you, we're really going to be focusing on interval training for January. So today, not so much. I'm going to do a continuous flow of cardio for about 20 minutes after our warm up. So we're just gonna do kind of that zone two continual movement training. Obviously, if you need to take breaks, please do, but we're gonna to try to go pretty steady for 20 minutes. Then when we do our strength training today, I'm going to focus on adding rotation of our arms in some of the movement. So for instance, instead of just doing a tricep kickback like this, we're going to add a rotation of the wrist and the forearm. Same with our bicep curls rotation. Same with our rows. So we're really going to experience um, some different feeling in the muscle with that, activating some of the different muscles that focus on the forearms and the rotation of our shoulders. All right, so weights are off to the side for later. Let's get our warm up started. I hope the bodies are feeling good and get my timer running as well. So make sure we get 20 minutes in. All right, here we go. Checking in on the body for our warm up. The shoulders go up and down, up and down. Shoulder girdle elevation and depression. So just reminding, go at your own pace today. You don't have to nail the tempo of the music that I'm doing. Now shoulders go forward and back. So draw in and open, in and open. This is shoulder girdle protraction and retraction. Now if we put that all together, we get a circle. So we protract, elevate, retract, and depress. Forward, up, back, and down. And I'm making these four separate movements. Let's do four more. Shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Three. And two. Get ready to reverse this. Shoulders go back, up, forward, down and really accentuate these movements. So you're getting a good range of motion and feeling the muscles connect. We have four more. Up, forward, and down. Last three. And two. One more. Little squats in place. Down and up. So kind of a small range of motion just to get started. I'm just bringing my arms forward as I sit back. Let's do eight more, right in place, down and up, seven. Notice your knees tracking right over your feet. Weight is back in the heels. Now just our right leg squats a little wider and in. Wide, in. So the left leg is on the floor constantly. The right one moves. Eight more, side squats, eight, seven. Good, four, three, two. Switch to the left side squat. Left and in. Nice job. Connect with your core, with your breathing. Nice for the hips with that lateral movement. We have eight more. Seven. Six. Four. Three. Two. Now alternate, one on the right, one on the left. Good job. Nice warm up through the knees, the ankles, even a little bit through the lower back. We have eight more squats. Seven, 
six, four, three, two, feet together. Right foot taps to the back, center, left foot back, center. So let's add the same arm reach. Same arm reaches as the leg that's going back. Eight, seven, six. Really opening the front of the hip. Step the right foot back and hold. Press your heel right to the floor. Side stretch over. So my back foot is pretty parallel so I can get that heel to drop and stretch the calf. Come up slightly, bring this arm right across the chest, look over your right shoulder. Little stretch for the shoulder, the upper back, and the neck. And then release that stretch, you're changing legs. Left foot steps back, left arm reaches, press your heel to the floor, and side stretch. Really open up through the rib cage here. And come up, bring that arm right across, look over the left shoulder. And then release it back to center. Inhale up, grab your right wrist and stretch. Inhale up, grab the left wrist and stretch. Inhale back up, chest expansion, pull your elbows back, expand through your chest. We're getting ready to start our 20 minute cardio. All right, right foot march in place, it's right, right. So I've got a nice continuous series of movements. They're going to progress or layer on. So if you want to stay just with marching, you can do that. As long as you're moving, I just want you to keep going and get that heart rate elevated up. So staying with our march, we've got six marches and a pause. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Left foot, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right foot, six. Hold, left foot. Hold right foot. Hold left foot. Six marches, a hold and switch feet. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold again, march. And hold. That little pause, we're gonna do something with that, of course. Now keep going with those six marches, right, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold, left foot, hold, right foot goes forward and back, and hold, forward, back, forward, and hold, forward, back, forward, and hold. Good, it's a little bit of a mambo step, forward, back, forward, and hold. And again, you can just stay with marches or just the forward and back. One more each side. I'm gonna add direction with this. Right foot, forward, back, forward, and hold. Left foot. Right foot. I'm just going on a diagonal. Left foot, forward, back, Forward, hold, right foot. Good, now on that hold, what we can do is make it a little triple step or a little cha-cha-cha. So you can stay with this and watch. Forward, back, forward, cha-cha-cha, forward. It's a little shuffle to the side. Forward, back, forward, shuffle step. 
Good. So you're just staying with which one feels good for you today. You don't have to go all the way up the levels. Let's stay with this 30 seconds. We're three minutes into our 20. You can make this shuffle a little bigger if you have room at home. You can add arms if you want. Anything, just keep that body moving. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Back to your march in place, right foot march. Good job. Just checking in on that heart rate should start coming up into your level two. Okay, we're going to do three alternating knees and hold, starting with the right foot, three, two, one, hold. Left foot, three, two, one, hold. Right, left, right, hold. Left, right, left, hold. So this is your first one. You can pick and stay with it. One more each side. So instead of the hold, we'll do three marches in place. Three, two, one, march, march, march. Three, two, one. Right knee, march, left knee, and march. Good, again. Right, left, right, march, march, march. So if you've got some room ahead of you, I want you to back up a little bit because on the marches, we'll move forward. Three knees, three, two, one, walk, walk, walk. Three, two, one, walk, walk, walk. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Good, you can do any combination of knees and walking. Just keep that body moving. Good job. Keep this going on the right diagonal. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Left diagonal. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. One, right diagonal, three, two, one. Walk, 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 three, two, one. Good, left diagonal. We've got about 40 seconds left on this piece. Good, any combination of knees and walking, any combination of directional movements, 20 seconds. Good. We're almost there. 10 seconds to go. All right, last four, three, two, and one. Just march in place. Good job. So we'll take this movement and do side leg raises, three alternating and hold in place. So it's three, two, one, hold. Left, right, left, hold. So you kind of seeing a theme with this? Yes? We're doing three movements of each and changing the other side. Good, up, 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 hold. Now, if you've got some room side to side, we're going to add a little bit of a movement. So we go three, two, one, step together. Three, two, one, step together. Good, three, two, one. One, step together. Outer thigh, hips, cover some ground. 
Good job. We're coming up on eight minutes in our cardio already. Getting pretty close to the halfway mark. Now, if you want to add a little bit more intensity as you step the feet together, you can add a little hop. Up, 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 up. Hop or just lift your arms. 40 seconds. Side, side, side. Step together. Good. Any combination of side leg raises and stepping side to side is fine. Just keep that body moving. 20 seconds. I'm feeling my outer glutes for sure. Up, up, up. 10 seconds. Heart rate should be up. Five, four, three, two, one. One, march it right foot, right, right. Good job. So we have three alternating kicks and holds. So it's kick, 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 hold. Kick, 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 hold. This gets you the rhythm and that mindset of changing the lead leg. And it's kick, kick, kick. Hold. One more each side. Kick, 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 hold. Three kicks, three marches in place. Three, two, one, march, march, march. Three, two, one. Or you can keep three kicks and the hold in place. I, <laughs> I got messed up there on my foot. Three, two, one. Happens to the best of us, right? Okay, what I'm gonna add is a little rock step. Looks like this. Three, two, one, rock step. Three, two, one, rock step. So it's still three marches, but I'm stepping behind. Three, two, one, rock step. Kick, 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 Rock back, kick, kick, kick. Nice job. Now, if you have space, you can add any change in direction. We have 40 seconds. Back, kick, kick. We're coming up to 21 minutes in our cardio already. Back it up, kick, kick, kick. Back it up, 20 seconds. Anything you want to do with your arms, you can jazz it up. 10 seconds to go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, march it right foot. Right, right, right. Good job. All right, we're coming into squats. Down, up, down, up. Now I want you to make these nice and big ones. So we're really working those glutes and quads. Now watch the change. We go squat, punch, punch, squat, punch, punch. Right, left, left, right. Right, left, left, right. So you're switching the arm that you lead with each time. Squat, right, left, squat, left, right. Good job. 45 seconds. It's kind of hard to remember which arm you're on. If you get on autopilot. Good job. 30 seconds. Nice and strong through the core. Down, punch, punch, down, punch, punch. 20 seconds. Right, left, left, right. Good 
five, four, three, two, march in place. Right foot march. Good job. All right, step side to side to the right tap, left tap. So we've done knee lifts, we've done side leg lifts. Now we're going to do hamstring curls for the back of the legs. So we'll go step, curl, step, curl. Pull your heel back to your butt. Good job. Now as you curl, punch across, punch across. We have just over six minutes of cardio to go. Now you can stay with these with no arms and do three, two, one step together. Three, two, one step together. Three, two, one step together. Back to that three count theme. Three hamstring curls, step side to side. Nice job. 40 seconds. This is going to take us up to the 15 minute mark. Just a little over five minutes to go on cardio. Continual movement in zone two. 20 seconds. Three, two, one, step together. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, step side to side, right, left. So I'm gonna involve rotation of the spine, knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Arms don't have to be high, rotate. Nice job. A little twist. So you can stay with this or do three knees and a squat. Three, two, one, squat. Three, two, one, squat. Three, two, one. Down, it's three, two, one. Squat, three, two, one. Nice job, everybody. 45 seconds on our knee rotation. Working those obliques. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Almost there. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. March it right foot. Right foot. Now you can stay with the march or pick it up to a little jog. Little jog in place. Jump rope. So you can jump rope with the jog. You can jump rope with a march. You can jump rope with a double skip. Make this your jump rope movement. 40 seconds on your jump rope. We're at 17 minutes and 24 seconds. Our jump rope will bring us up to two minutes remaining in cardio. This is okay if you march. If you've got some room at home, cover some ground forward and back or side to side. 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two. Back to a slow march. Right foot. So we have three ski jumps or three ski squats and a raise up in the air or a jump. So it's three, two, one, up. Three, two, one, up. If you want, you can jump off the floor. Three, two, one, jump. Nice job. If you raise up on your toes, you get the calves. Oh, 20 seconds on these. Excellent. Almost there. 10 seconds. Then we have one exercise to go. Five, four, three, two, and one, and march in place. Last exercise, low or high impact jumping jacks. Here's low, heel tap, heel tap, heel tap. You can also keep the arms low. High impact jumping jack, out, in. This is your last 30 seconds on cardio, guys. So take it where you can for that last 30 seconds. We're coming up on the 20 minute mark, constant cardio. You guys are doing great. 15 seconds. A little spike in that heart rate to finish. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to your march in place. Nice job. So do some kind of evaluation for your heart rate. My Fitbit says 138. You can also take your pulse at your carotid artery or your radial artery, take a pulse check or do a rating of perceived exertion on a scale of one to 10. How do you feel you're doing? All right, let's let that heart rate come down a little bit. Grab a drink as we start to move into strength training. So we are gonna work on a little bit of rotation for the forearms today. So our first exercise, big strong muscle groups. So I want you to pick your heavier weight if you have a couple of choices. I'm coming to my eight pounders. <clears throat> so I want you to be able to see where my hands are. We'll start with a dead row. So your weights are facing your thighs. You come down to your knees and as you pull, turn your palms forward, turn them back to your thighs and stand up. Down, rotate through the forearms. And I'm doing it slow to start. If you have it, you wanna pick up the pace, let's go tempo, down, pull up down rotate up we're working on endurance here so we've got several repetitions squeeze back bring that upper back online make sure you've got this rotation through your forearms palms face your thighs then they face forward four Three, two, same thing with the triple row. We come down, pull three, two, one, stand up, rotate each time. You can slow this way down. So you can come down slow, rotate three times. I want you to take the pace that number one allows you to stay good with your form and your alignment. That allows you to really feel it in these muscles. Good, we have 30 seconds left on the triple row. 
Try to stay with me if you can. Squeeze back, rotate. 15 seconds. Triple row. Rotating the forearms. One more rep. Triple row. And rise up. Roll those shoulders. Now check and see, is this an okay workload for a bicep curl? If it's a little too heavy, maybe come down a smidge for your curls. Really going to focus on those biceps. Stand in split position, right foot in front, tapping the left hand toe behind you. Palms are facing the outside of your thighs. We come up and rotate, back down. Up and rotate. You can even rotate a little more so your palms are actually facing the back of the room when they're on the bottom. Back of the room. Balance challenge. Pick your foot up off the floor. Good job. Really stable through your abs. Five more rotating curls. Four. Three. Two. Rotate up and hold the weights right here. Set the foot down and we go squat up, squat up. Good job. Now bring your elbows to a 90 degree bend. Your palms are facing the ceiling. As you squat, you're just going to rotate your forearms. So it's down, up, down, up. Good, my elbows stay close to the waist. Just rotating, eight, seven. If you wanna leave the squat out, you can just do this. Four, three, two, and one. Release those arms down. Stand in the split stance, left foot in front. This time, as you come up, your palms will be facing right toward the camera. So we'll come up and down, up and down. So this is a reverse bicep curl. Now we'll start to add some rotation. So as you come down, turn your palms forward. So we're rotating actually the opposite way as we did on the other foot. Balance challenge. Reverse curl, standing on one foot. We have six more. You should be feeling this in your forearms big time. Four. Those muscles help us to grip things, get a jar lid off. Last one. And release. Come halfway up. Palms are facing in. Squat down and up. Good. So with our squats, we're gonna add a little out and in. Out, out. So my weights are still parallel. I'm just rotating through the rotator cuff a little bit. Elbows stay close. If you need to take the squats out, you're just doing this. Good, keep it going. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Feeling those shoulders, biceps, and rotator cuff. 4, 3, 2, 1, and rest the arms straight down. So we're going to give the arms a little break, but holding the hand weights. Alternating lunges, right, left, 
So if lunges bother your knees, you can just step your foot back. If you can, bend your knees down a little deeper. If you wanna make this squats, you can can as well. So I want you to do the leg work that feels best for your body. 45 seconds on your alternating lunges. Keep your chest up. Try not to lean forward. Nice job. 30, shoulder blades back and depressed. Good posture. Arms are resting because we have some overhead presses coming up. 15 seconds. So I want you to start thinking about the weight you're going to use for overhead presses. Find something that's good for you. One more lunge each side and step in. Okay, this is called the Arnold press. So you'll bring your weights with your palms facing your body. As you press up, they rotate. So they're forward, then they rotate as you come back down. Up, down. You can also stand in split position or you can lift your knee up to the front for balance. Eight. Seven. Six. Really good for longevity. We're gonna learn a lot about that next month. Three, two, one, take a short break. If you're in your split stance, your left foot is in front. Let's try that Arnold press up, down, up, option to balance. Good job. Now I'm not pushing straight above my head. I'm on a little angle forward. Just four more. Arnold press. I'm going to pump you up. Two more. That's my best Arnold imitation. <laughs> Last one. And relax it down. Set those weights down. Let's grab a drink. It's time. Ooh. All right, that was 11 minutes of strength training right there. And we have a good 10 more. So we are going to work the tricep in a kickback. And we're going to be able to rotate our forearm with this. So something pretty light for weight. You only need one. And I'm going to get up here nice and close. So when you start this movement, you can either be feet together or you can be stepping back in a lunge. Yes, this way would be good. So your palm faces your hip. As you come up, turn your palm to face the ceiling and then rotate it back in as you come down. Here we go. Press and rotate. Bring it in. Press and rotate. Nice job. Up. So notice my upper arm doesn't move. Also notice I'm not bringing the weight forward right here toward my shoulder. So you wanna start it right at your hip. Even tap your knuckles right to the side of your hip. So you're making sure you're stopping there. Five more reps, rotate, palm up. Four. I could have given you some balance, I think, too. Three. Two. Ooh, that's challenging. One more. And come up. Good. Switch that weight into your other hand. Shake it out a little bit. You can have both knees bent or one foot in front. Knuckles space you on the hip. We push and rotate your palm up to the ceiling. Just like you're gonna hold something in the palm of your hand when you're at the top. 
upper arm nice and still. So we're engaging more muscle fibers as we're rotating. And it's really functional work. Again, strengthening some of those muscles that are weak as we age. Let's do five more optional balance work. Four, three, two, and one, and come up. Okay, if you need your mat, like I do, drag it out to the floor. Pick the weight that you like to use for chest presses. So you could do a pretty heavy weight on these. I'm gonna go back and grab my eights again. <laughs> so again, we've got that concept of rotation in this movement. So once you come down onto your back, get nice and comfortable. So when your weights are up, your palms face each other. When your weights come down, your palms face your knees. So they're facing away from your body. So we come up, rotate, and down. Rotate in, rotate out. So this rotation is really happening at the shoulder joint, not really in the forearm. Your entire arm is rotating in the shoulder socket. So if you want a little bit more core work, pick your right knee up and send it out. Bring it in. Send it out. Bring it in. Five more on the right leg. Keep that chest press if you can, working endurance. One more, keep the arms going and switch the legs. Out and in. Out and in. Now I'm starting to feel it through my triceps and chest muscles. Let's get four. And three. Two. One, feet are down, four more presses. Four. Three. Two. And one. And relax your weights next to your body. We have abdominals with rotation for the waistline. So we come up, twist right, Come to the center, lower down. And we come up, twist left, come to the center, lower down. A little quicker. Up, turn, center. Up, turn, center. Eight more reps. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Back to your hand weights. Our last exercise with a rotation. So your elbows are back up. Turn your palms to face your knees. As you bend your elbows, the weights twist so they come outside of your ears. And as you press up, rotate the palms to face your knees. Down and up, rotate. Isolating those triceps. Shoulders are really stable here. Six more. Five, four, Woo. 
Ooh, nice isolation. Two more. Last one. And release those weights down. Drop both knees over to the right side. So this is going to lift your left hip. So you're in a little baby twist. Fingertips behind the back of the head. And we crunch up, down, up, down. So I want you to focus on this left side oblique. We have 10 more. Nine. Eight. <clears throat> seven. Six. Exhale up. Four. Three. Two. One, relax, bring your knees back up through the middle, slightly drop them over to the left side, fingertips behind the back of the head, lift, lift. So this can be a really small movement. You're not coming up very high. Relax your head into your fingertips so your neck doesn't tighten up. 10. Nine, eight, seven. Just four more, guys. Four, three, two, and one. Relax. Bring those knees back up to the middle. Drop your abdominals in toward your backbone. Lift your knees right up into tabletop. Brace your elbows out on the floor. Drop your knees to the right, down and up to the left. So if this bothers your low back at all, you can do it with your feet on the floor and just drop your knees from side to side like windshield wipers. Or this is oblique rotations to really work the core here. Either level, you have 35 seconds to complete this for a solid minute. Nice job, nice job. Make sure you're not holding your breath. Keep that breath moving. 20 seconds. Really firming up those core muscles. Almost to the finish on this exercise. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. All right, it's time to roll over to a plank position. We're actually gonna do a side plank with a rotation. So you can choose if you wanna be on your elbow, if you wanna be up on your hand. So come to a kneeling plank and hold. So the movement is we rotate and reach under the armpit, look behind and open back out. 45 seconds, down and open. Any pace you wanna go. You can also stack your feet, down and up. Almost there. 15 seconds left on this side. Feel that rotation. Last one. And relax down. All right, shake that wrist out a little bit. Or if you're on your elbow, maybe roll your shoulders. Let's pick your position on the other side, down on your forearm or up on your hand. Maybe on your knee to start here. Keep breathing. Ready and rotate, 45 seconds. And up. Try to look behind you and twist but keep your hips stacked.
Keep those abs drawn in and up, really engaged. Breathe through it. 15 seconds. Six, five, four, one more. And relax down, shake out that wrist. Okay, we're gonna do a forward plank from the forearms. So come down onto both elbows. You can be on your knees or on your toes. The rotation we're going to do is just to drop one hip down and then the other hip down. You can do that from your knees as well. So you're just doing a little bit of side to side movement, 45 seconds. Keep those abs scooped up. Really great for the strength of your core, your lower back, the obliques. Shoulders are nice and stable. Almost there, 20 seconds to go. Toes or knees. Rotate the hips. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Knees are down. Take a little child's pose. Stretch. Breathe. So now we'll bring our rotation into our back muscles. So come on your hands and knees. Your right hand is on the floor. Your left hand is behind your head. Use the back muscles to lift your elbow up to the ceiling and then tap your elbow down toward your right wrist. So we come up, down to tap the wrist. Very similar to thread the needle, but we're not using our arm to lift up. We're really using our back muscles. 30 seconds on this side. Up. You can either inhale when you lift or exhale. Either way is good. Just keep breathing. 15 seconds. Strengthening the back of the core. Eight, seven, six, five. Last one. And set your left hand down on the mat. Right hand behind the head. We come up and down to tap the wrist with the elbow. 45 seconds. And look each direction with your head. Look way to the right and all the way over to the left. 30 seconds. This is a slow controlled movement. Last 15 seconds on this twist. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. All right, have a seat. Bring one leg forward, cross the other one over, and let's just twist right here with a nice long spine as we start to come into some flexibility work. Sit tall, look over that shoulder. You're hugging this knee in to get a little stretch for your glute. Look all the way behind you, nice long spine. And then as we come to the front, take this foot to the inside and stretch forward or press from behind. Little hamstring release. Wow, I can't believe how fast class went today. Solid 20 minutes of cardio. Solid 20 or more minutes of strength training. 
All right, let's come up, switch sides. Other leg goes forward, cross the ankle over, sit tall and rotate. <clears throat> nice deep breaths here. Lengthen the spine up a little bit more. Try to twist a little deeper. And then come to the center. Bring that inner thigh and the sole of the foot together and stretch forward. Ooh, I'm feeling that in the low back today. I'm gonna back off on it a little bit, more gentle. Two more breaths. And then let's rise to a stand. It's always good to work in getting up and down off the floor. It's an exercise in and of itself, that's for sure. Okay, a little balance. We'll stand with the right foot crossed in front of the left, right arm up, side stretch. And release it down. Now your left foot's the one in front. Left arm up, side stretch. So we're releasing the lat muscles, the obliques, and a little bit up here into this tricep. Also slightly into the IT band. And then release it, bring your feet to parallel, step your right foot straight back and push your heel down to stretch your calf. Both hands go behind your back or hands to your hips, stretch your chest. Yeah, release that, make a switch with the feet. Left foot straight back. Either take the same stretch with your arms or you can do a different chest expansion. Just open right up through the chest, pulling your elbows back towards each other. And then step the feet back together. We'll take a nice big deep breath. Inhale.